Right, you join us in the end of 2022. We've had a couple of days off for Christmas, which was absolutely lovely, but now we're back into it. And this is um, a big learning curve for me and Lisa. We are going to conquer fears of heights. We're going to learn new techniques all in one day. <laughs> We've got our scaffold tower up, which is we lent our scaffold tower up, so we can go up to the to the ridge uh, on the roof tile, oh, where the guttering's been put on. Um, and what we're going to do today is we're going to try and what they call haunch in the sides of the roof. This will make it completely watertight. It has a felt. Um, underlay underneath the tiles which makes it watertight in the central position but on the edges that needs to be filled in and haunching as I am reliably informed is bedding in the edge tiles uh, into a mortar mix so first of all the first job of the day is to start put the tower up so we're happy with where the tower is um, we've got a, a roofing ladder here, as you see behind me, which is going to be stuck on the roof and hooked over. And then my darling lady wife is going to climb up the, the ladder because she's smaller than me. Um, and I have a genuine concern about getting up on roofs. It's going to have to be done because I'm going to have to do the other one eventually. But uh, let's try that today and see if we can't get it will be a nice, you know, we've got the weather today. This is primarily why we're doing it today and tomorrow because we've got a couple of dry days and obviously you can't do cementing and mortaring and all that sort of thing outside when it's wet. It just washes away and it will never dry. So we've got a, um, a mix of cement, um, lime and sand that we're going to bed in these tiles First job of the day though, it's because of the guttering, we had to take off the bottom row of tiles, because normally the guttering would go on before you put the tiles, um, the bottom row of tiles on. So what I've got to do is put the battens back and then lay the, 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 the bottom row of tiles in. The roof was done in November, yeah. So, um, and it's been sitting there and doing its job. Um, it's very dry in there now, which is good, but obviously the ends are still open, a little bit open to the elements, so we need to get this haunching done. Get these so skinny nails, and I've got some nice galvanized nails that I found to put it back with. It's a bit nerve wracking. I don't like heights at all. Normally, I get up on a um, on a chair and I start to um, my knees start to go. Bessie, what is wrong with you? But it's got to be done, and we've got to conquer this fear. So. Um, we can't wait around anymore and the fact that the weather's going to be nice for a couple of days really important we get this done today right so this wants to go on the top top line yeah i think so i think yeah. if i can be level with it then i'll be happier yeah. See, it's all some rubbish I, I hate this you know, you ain't being a muppet about these things, don't you? <laughs> you know, it's just... I may not have got this... Uh... Oh, that looks a bit... A bit wobbly. wobbly. A bit wobbly. I'm just trying to think. I think maybe I'll put another bar down the bottom. So, we're up here at the moment, putting the second batten, this batten, over the top of our guttering brackets. When we did the roof, um, what you do is you put a last, you put a double batten on this one, so the, so the last row of tiles is the same level 
as the other rows of tiles. However, what we didn't know, and this obviously this is all learning, is that you normally put your guttering bracket between that last row, uh, that last two battens. So we had the guttering put on, but the, gut, the batten had to be removed. We've taken that off, and now the idea is when we do when we're doing our haunching, obviously I've got to put my tiles back because if we're haunching in the tiles, we're gluing them to, to, the, uh, to the roof, I won't be able to put my tiles back on. So I've got to do this job first, and then we'll get on to doing the concreting on the side, which we'll go into in more depth. I'm on the scaffolding ladder and I'm just trying to get myself used to being up here. It is Which is all right at the moment. I didn't think it was fine. I was on the top level, on this level that you're leaning on, out the back there. Yeah. And I, you know, within minutes you get very, com very comfortable to it. Well, you've got to be, it's just, you've got to be wary uh, of what you're doing. It's, it's all about, you know, just being aware of what you're doing, you know? Just having a bit of... So did you have a good Christmas, baby? Did I have a good Christmas? Yeah. I had a lovely Christmas. So, um, the reason why we're trying to get onto this really quickly, we've taken two days off, we're now itchy fingers to get back into it. Um, but um, we really want to start the new project of the barn in the new year. So the idea is, is that all the finishing touches that we need to do on the piggeries we do over the over the next week um, and probably the first week into January and then we can get started on the medieval banqueting hall and also because the weather's really good for a couple of days the temperature's gone right up can you believe it a couple of weeks ago we was in minus nine now it's 10 11 degrees it's supposed to go up to 17 degrees at the weekend so uh lovely very nice but um but yeah, we've been putting this off for so long because neither of us want to get up on the roof. And uh, obviously we had Steve here when we were doing the roof that he went up there, put the tolls on, because he's a nice slender gentleman. Um, <laughs> nice slender it's a nice slender gentleman. Oh, I love you for that. <laughs> um, and then you've got me and Ted, the heflumps. So, um, <laughs> so yeah. So we've been putting it off for so long, but it's got to the point now we need to get this watertight properly and, um, and get some jobs finished. So that's, that's why we said today, crack on, it's got to do it. So what we're going to do is, once Ted's got this stuff on, I'm going to do a tester. We don't want to start the mixer up and get a mix going until I've gone up there and I've checked that I'm happy with it. Because if I get up there and I crack myself and I can't do it, then we're going to have a mix of um, mortar and cement that we, we can't use. So we're going to do a little tester run. Yeah. I'm rather nervous, I have to say. Oh, yeah. This is a bit I hate. Well, getting in and out. Yeah, you just, you know, like... Thing is, people like Michael Tinker, the roofer, Mr. Tinker, just like they, they're like monkeys, aren't they? Yeah. They good. just like literally in and out, in and out, and just well, cause they, they, swing it all about. You know, they're super flexible. Anyway. They they're just so used to it as well, aren't they? Yeah, so right, what we're we doing with this, just shoving right, it. Just, yeah, push it, pull it. Right. Right, so you're not that far. So you're going to have to step on the roof. That's, the, yeah? Yep. You're going to have to step, that's, that's all right, that's nice. Right, am I going to go? You're going to have to step on the am roof. Am I going to give it a go? To, do you want me to come up there with you? Because no, you know, no, no. I think I just, why, what was you going to say? I was just going to hold your hand. <laughs> can she do it? She can do it. She can do anything. Just think of the inspiration you'll be. How do I get over there? There you go. Yeah, but my legs aren't long enough. You need to go up more, don't you? <laughs> There's quite a gap, and it's not. It's the, the the other one's a lot smaller, isn't it? Right, I'm okay to here. Okay. So I get up on the other platform then. I'm going. I'm going. Tank tight. Come, come on, hurry up. <laughs> Let me just uh, get that one there. So I need to get over to that ladder? Yeah. But how do I do that? Well, stand up. I can't stand up, I need to go on my knees. 
Why can't you stand I up? I won't be able to stand up. Well, I don't know how you're going to do it then. Can I lean on this? Yeah, you can stand. Will these take my weight? Yeah, they'll take your weight, yeah, because there's lots of buttons. And, so you can, yeah, if you kneel, can you kneel up on that one? It's, it's pretty sturdy. Because you've got that gap now, so you haven't... Yeah. It's going to take your weight. I think that would probably, that would be my thought, anyway. Uh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Well, hey. That's it, and use that just to climb up. It can't go anywhere, there's nothing to stop it. Right. On you, on you go. No, let's just do it. I'll come down and we'll do it. Right. So, I think we need to move that ladder, possibly. Because I don't think you're going to have enough room. I think the main thing is, is just knowing that once I'm up there, yeah. I'm going to have to stay up there. Okay. Okay? Yeah, I know, so I'll deliver all your stuff to you. Oh, it's getting, because I won't be able to get back to, I won't, I won't be able to. Come up and down? No. Okay. That's quite, oh, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't look down and that's quite high. That's quite high. Yeah. Well, it is, I suppose it's what, two and, two and a bit metres, and you'll be up to four metres by the time you get up there. How'd you feel? Oh, a bit... Yeah? A bit hyperventilating, but I'm, I'm yeah. like, I think once I'm on there, we just get it done. So it needs to be, according to Michael, it needs to be nice and sticky. Yeah. So my first job is to take the edge tiles off so that I can then put the mortar in and embed them back in. Okay, I'm at the top. <laughs> I don't feel too nervous, but it's just really awkward. <clears throat> And what I'm trying not to do is go up to the top, to the right to the top, and, um, and look over it all. So I need to get this top one off. Oh. At times like this, I wish my bum was smaller. Okay, so I'm just going to show you a bit of close-up here. So, we've got the battens, we've got the tiles, and underneath the battens we've got this felt, which is obviously way overlapped at the moment. And underneath the, the felt, I don't know if you can see down there, but there's a big gap going actually down into the um, piggeries below. So that's where all the water falls down here and goes straight in. So that's what we're trying to do at the moment, make this part watertight. So the idea is that the first part, the first phase, is to embed this last row of tolls in with cement. So the cement will go on here. That means it will push the felt against the wall. It will embed the tiles in. Secondly, we then have to go back over the top of the tiles to form a ridge. And we do that twice. So, first step, embed the tiles. The worst part is, is setting yourself up. So I've got my muck now behind me and now I'm figuring out how to get my muck. I think it's probably better if I put my muck in front of me and up. Yeah, but how do I get that now? I might have to get back off. Oh no. The last thing I want to do is drop my tray of muck, which is going. No, it's not. It's there. Let me get off. I 
I don't know how these roofers do it. I really don't. Right, what I might do is while I'm half on, half off, do this first section. Now, we really haven't got a clue what we're doing. We're just taking our roofer's suggestion and hoping we've listened to him properly. So I think the idea is, whilst you're hanging on for dear life, lift up. Put your muck in. Hopefully, I'll get used to this and get better at it. At the end of the day, it's my first time up on a roof. To be honest with you, I don't care how long it takes me to do it. I'm quite happy the fact that I'm doing it. Now to put my first toll back in and hope that I've done this right. So while I continued to get myself used to being on the roof, Ted did the mixes and passed me up the muck, in between putting on his last row of tolls. Okay, so I'm now on the other side of the roof. I've done one side and um, so chuffed with myself that I've done this. Really, really pleased. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to become a roofer. I don't know how they do it. But, um, but it's really weird how on, that, on the other side that I've done, I got so used to going up and down and, and understood where I was. Just moving over to another side completely throws you. It's like really weird because you're using the other side of your body and you, it, it, it's just, I can't explain it, it's just really weird to suddenly move over to another side and now I've got to get comfortable on this side all over again. But um, really pleased, that side took me about an hour and a half to do it. Um, so not long at all really, so we should be finished today. The lovely thing is the sun is out um, and that means that the, uh, the mix will dry quite quickly and uh, hopefully tomorrow, which is supposed to be another nice day, that we can get the actual haunching, um, the top layer done, and it will be finished with. No more going up a roof. Until next time, obviously. But, um, yeah, it's cool. I'm really glad I did it. I'm proud of myself. I really am proud of myself. Um, but, yeah, another side to go. So let's get on with it. This is good, baby. I'm really like. You're getting on. Well, it's just getting back into it. It's lovely. It's good, isn't it? Chuck your bucket. Chuck your bucket. Chuck it. It's a bucket. I'll be down below. I'll be down below. Uh 
hopefully what I've given you there should be enough. What, a, what an achievement. Last bit just done. Okay, time for me to get off the roof now. Until tomorrow. See you then. Day two of working on the haunching. Ted's got the uh, cement mixer going already. Yeah, and, yeah. And uh, I missed it, but Ted's already been up on the roof, cutting back the felt, so. Uh, yeah, I just thought I had to, I had to do something, uh, you know, not just climbing up there, but actually work up there. So I just took just the edge of the felt off, where we've concreted and just to inspect that it's all dried inspect and is work. enough. Not inspect your work, <laughs> inspect that it dried. So it's all dry, it seems to be dry. So we can go ahead and and um, do the final the final run on it. Okay, so as much as I did this yesterday and got used to it, I am so scared of heights that <laughs> just getting back up here again sets the nerves going. Anybody out there that's scared of heights will know what it's like. Um, and the rest of you will probably be going, it's not that high. It is that high to me. <laughs> so here we go again. <coughs> so this is what we did yesterday the first phase. So what I've got to do today is brush back any bits, loose bits of cement, cut back the excess felt that is over the top and then tie the wall in um, to the tiles. So another layer of mortar and, um, and just smooth it over and make it tie in so it's nice and uh, on a slant. So any water coming off the wall just literally slides down and comes down into the guttering. So I'm literally just leaving a tiny bit that the new mortar will cover. The worst thing is is getting up the ladder with your cement. Now, at some stage, I'm going to have to re-mortar all this wall. So this actually has made me more confident because, you know, I used to, I used to look at this wall and think, how on hell am I going to do this wall if I can't get up there? Are we going to end up having to pay somebody? And, um, but this has given me so much more confidence now to think that I'm going to be able to do that, which is brilliant. No, it's quite amazing actually, being up here. The sun shining, peace and quiet, if you take away the dog over the road barking. But um, it's just beautiful and peaceful. It's crazy. 
crazy. Absolutely crazy. You told me five years ago that I'd be up on the roof, four metres high, and uh, yeah, doing haunching. For a start, I wouldn't have known what the hell haunting was. And to say I'd be up on the roof, no way. But here I am. Put the other one on the... So last piece of haunting done. I am so chuffed with me and Ted for doing this this week. Yeah, I, I literally, I am so chuffed because, um, yeah. It's just, a, it's another skill we've learnt. We've saved money again because we've used materials we already had. We'd, we've made the, uh, the main part of the piggery is airtight, uh, watertight. And, um, and we've conquered a fear. This, it's just brilliant because it means now that when we look at things that are of, of a height, we can think to ourselves, well, we, we did that. So, you know, we could do anything. There again, I'm not getting up on the chateau roof. We'll leave that to... Uh, to Mr Tinker. But um, yeah, really, really chuffed with it. All we've got left to do now is just brush the excess off and, uh, and wait for some rain to come and, um, and check it works. But uh, yeah, really chuffed. It's been, it's been a good few days. Woohoo, we did it! Well done, you did it. <laughs> you did blinding. It. See behind us here, you'll see Hornshin. All watertight, lovely job. Let's hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> Happy days. See ya. Brilliant. <laughs> so with the haunting finished, it meant we'd learnt a new skill, saved ourselves money and conquered our fears. If you like the video, don't forget, subscribe, press the notification button and you'll get a notification each week that we upload a new video giving you the progress of our renovation of this 14th century historical monument. Finally, we'd like to say a huge thank you to our supporters that have done the Buy Me A Toll campaign this week. Don't forget, if you would like to buy a toll for three euros to go on our medieval banqueting hall, you get your name at the end of the credits, a thank you, and your name also gets imprinted onto one of the tolls and put in the medieval banqueting hall forevermore. The link is in the description. Graham Mobs. Nancy Bishop. Sh uh, Julie W. Kerry Cousy. Cassandra Dowd. Jordan and Amy. Marcel Bellier. Mark Amandi. Jane Kern. Thank you all so much for your donation. We really love the fact that you're on board with us and you will be up in that room. Yeah.